Hi and welcome. This cyber security news was published by the Washington Post yesterday that is on 27th September 2018. Now it says that Julian Assange will become part of history in international journalism. In this video I will uh, explain the background of this news and current state of affairs. Now WikiLeaks is a website which is famous for publishing classified government documents and these documents are provided to WikiLeaks by anonymous people and they claim that they have a database of 10 million documents which they have gathered in 10 years. This website was initiated in 2006. Now this is the guy Julian Assange and it is here. He is the founder of WikiLeaks and he published various uh, leaks uh, on this website and it came into attention of international media in 2010. Now this is the WikiLeaks website and here you can see that there are already several classified documents which are published which I will discuss in upcoming uh, minutes. Now this leak was published on WikiLeaks on 5th April 2010 and actually it is a video of a US operation uh, which uh, was uh, held in 2007 and this operation was a US Apache helicopter operation uh, who killed around 18 people uh, in Iraq and the uh, WikiLeaks published a video on this date on their website and this video is also available on YouTube over here. But I will not play this video because it contains uh, uh, sensitive material. Now this is another leak, uh, leak document which was published on WikiLeaks and it is related uh, to the military, US military logs of, F, uh, of their operation in Afghanistan. And it was published by WikiLeaks on 25th of July 2010. And these documents are around 91,000 reports uh, from 2004 to 2010. And uh, it is available on the Wiki uh, League website over here. Uh, now there is another uh, uh, leaks which were released on WikiLeaks and these are related to the diplomatic uh, uh, correspondence of United States uh, with its uh, diplomats deployed uh, all around the globe. And uh, it was released on 28 November 2010. Now uh, here these documents are available uh, on this website. Now these are another uh, series of documents by WikiLeaks and these are related uh, to the uh, their official uh, Guantanamo Bay files, uh, uh, det detention camp files related to the prisoners. And these are around 779 secret documents. And these documents are available over here on WikiLeaks website. Now, uh, this person was uh, convicted by court martial in 2013 uh, because uh, she was a United States. Uh, soldier, former soldier, and she leaked documents uh, to WikiLeaks. Uh, around 0.75 million documents she uh, released to the WikiLeaks, and uh, she remained in prison 
from 2010 to 2017 and this is uh, her pick now uh, in 2016 that is uh, 7th uh, November uh, October 2016 WikiLeaks again leaked uh, a series of documents or email uh, related uh, uh, to the Democratic Party and these emails uh, 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 caused a negative impact on the campaign of Democratic Party for pre presidential elections and uh, uh, cybersecurity professionals suspect, uh, are suspecting that uh, these uh, uh, hacks were caused by Russian hackers and then they leak this material to WikiLeaks. For the same reason, WikiLeaks is believed to be uh, having connections with the Russian government. Now, Vault 7 is another series of documents uh, about uh, the cyber electronic and cyber uh, warfare capabilities of CIA. And these documents were uh, released on 7th March 2017 by WikiLeaks. And these documents are available over here on WikiLeaks website. Now there was another parallel stories or activities going on uh, with the WikiLeaks founder and he faced uh, in the international uh, charges uh, of uh, uh, and he was uh, suspected uh, uh, of doing a rape or sex, uh, sexual uh, molestation and he was uh, and uh, an international uh, arrest warrant was issued on his name by uh, Sweden and this happened in uh, November 2010 Now in December 2010, uh, this guy uh, was arrested by UK uh, government on the same charges or allegations. In 2018, uh, uh, this guy, uh, uh, into, rather in 2012, this guy took uh, asylum in uh, uh, Ecuador, uh, Ecuador uh, embassy in UK or in London and he remained there for five years uh, until he was uh, granted uh, citizenship of Ecuador. Now this was the date uh, when he was granted the citizenship. Now a news was published uh, on uh, August 2nd, 2018 that uh, the, the country uh, which uh, gave him citizenship or asylum in their embassy in London wants him out of uh, uh, its uh, embassy because this guy uh, who is uh, the president of uh, uh, the country wants him out of his embassy. Uh, now, uh, uh, with these kind of developments, uh, uh, people are suspecting that maybe Russia is planning to help uh, uh, Julian Assange to escape uh, uh, London or UK. And yesterday, uh, this latest news was published by Washington Post, which I showed you in the, at the start of this video, uh, that uh, Washington Post is saying that Julian Assange will soon become part of uh, history in international journalism uh, due to these uh, developments. Now, this was all from my side. 
uh, thank you uh, for your time and patience and if you like my uh, effort please uh, subscribe to my channel and also comment uh, for improvement thank you